So this is how Michael lost $500. So we got six nine over here. <laughs> like I, I got that, from Michael. What? And then we got a predator Eric or what? Huh? I did, He's a predator. I Eddie was actually, a predator. I didn't actually scratch my dick. I was too. He, he has like chlamydia and stuff. So like I know he does. Herpes, crabs. He has all that. But yeah, right now we're in the gallery. Somebody say herpes. Like I said, this is part of my probation. I'm gonna pay him 20 bucks. Watch it. Where I go now? I just can't pay nobody, bro. Who's in the go? One. Mrs. John don't lose nothing. You find it, you get the 500 credits to my game. Turn it off. If you miss it, you don't lose nothing. If you find it, you get the five credits. Turn it off. <clears throat> you said the what? If Turn I miss it. Turn over the five. If you miss it, you don't lose no money. So as you saw in the last clip, the guy told Michael that he had to pull out $500 in order for him to give Michael the $500, when in reality he didn't give Michael the $500. So 
he told me the same thing. I picked the same ball, the right ball. He told me to also go pull out 500. I don't know why we were thinking about pulling out $500 because that's just, that's just stupid of us. So whenever Michael went to pull out the $500, I went a couple minutes after him because I won a couple minutes after he did. And so I met Michael at the ATM. When I met Michael at the ATM, Michael went ahead and went to go get the, show the guy the $500 he had. And the guy, while that was happening, I was at the ATM, but I decided not to pull money because I just felt really sketched out about it. So whenever I walked back over there, the guy was like, did you ever pull out your $500? And I was like, no, nah, which I just said, I lied and said it wouldn't give it to me. So whenever, but by the time I got back over there, Michael was saying, hey, bro, like, give my money back. Like, that's not like right. So what had happened was, uh, is that Michael had had the money out in his hand and the guy like took it from him, basically saying it's a credit or five credits, technically one, because he considered the 500 as one. And whenever he took the money from Michael, Michael didn't realize that like he was paying to play when he wasn't supposed to be because the guy just said if you pull out the 500 you'll get the 500 and so michael used the 500 he won or he won and used that as a credit to play another game and he lost it so right now he's at zero plus the 500 he pulled out so he ended up playing again i guess he worded it into a way that michael didn't understand that if he was pulling out or that if he gave the guy 500 dollars, he's gonna use that to play the game so when Michael, I guess, handed it to him, or kind of just like, he kind of like took it out of his hand, that's what they were saying. And he used that as a credit to play and he lost again. So when he lost, he lost his $500. Then the guy, this guy that wasn't there when I got there and when I left, he wasn't there. He came up and I'll show a picture of both of them right here. That they, he came up and said, I just pulled up. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna play. And he saw that Michael lost $500 and then one of the guys that was with him, he like lifted up a cup and he saw the ball while the guy that was doing the game in general as he was playing, he wasn't looking. And so when he lifted up, he saw what the ball was and he told the guy, hey, and he got his attention and said, I'll put a thousand dollars on that ball. So he won the thousand dollars, which was also part of Michael's 500. So we thought the guy was gonna be nice enough, you know, just to give Michael his money back. But in reality, he kind of just took it for himself and he just left. Michael like was trying to get the money back but the guy was like would you actually do this for me if it happened and we're like yeah like we're not bad people we're gonna be like if you lost if we lost our money and you lost your money we'd expect us to like you know be good people and give it back but you know people in houston you know they i don't like to hate on houston but they're scammers out there and it's just like a fucked up situation so i mean in all reality, it is kind of Michael's fault, kind of our fault for not like trying to stop him. And I wasn't there to stop him from giving the money because if it was me, I would have just kept the money. I wouldn't have like gave the guy the money to like hold because that's $500. Who knows what he could have done to get that $500. He could have like hurt Michael to get it if Michael just kept it. But like I wasn't there to like help him stop that from happening. And so Michael ended up losing so, I mean, there's nothing we could do about it. We tried talking to the police, a sheriff from a different county that was at the mall for Dillard's, and we told him, he told us to go, he told us that it happens a lot to go talk to an HPD officer that's uh, around the corner. Talked to him, he didn't care at all. He just kind of said, you lost your money, there's nothing we could do. And they say they do get caught, he can't get his money back. So either way, he lost his $500, even if they caught the guy. So, I mean, there's nothing we really could do about that, but if I will drop his cash up down below. If you want to like donate a dollar or something to Michael to help him out, because he has to pay his car note, and that was like a big hit to his bank account for five hundred dollars for the car note. He also has to like help out, like pay for stuff for his house and his family and stuff. But I mean, if y'all want to, y'all could drop a dollar down. Like it's up to y'all. Y'all don't have to. I'm not saying y'all have to. But I'm also gonna like drop his Snapchat like right here too. And thank you, Carlos, for uh, letting me use your lighting and microphone and everything for this. And you know, I'll I'll drop your Snapchat too right here. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Don't get scammed by people <clears throat> trying to gamble your money. It's just not, it's a fucked up thing that people do. And, you know, it's just not right. So, I mean, yeah, just be careful out there. And yeah, peace. Back then I was broke. I was down on my ass. I was down on my ass. Had to give me some money. Had to get in my bag.